Now Pretty on strike to uh, Balaji. Afridi went for a Afridi started off in fine fashion in the last game got off to a quick start and then it was uh, Balaji who dismissed him but he had done the damage by them as far as uh, the Indians were concerned and he's picked him away he's gone all the way for six Right onto the advertising holding. Well, that's precisely the shot he tried even in the last game to get out, but it doesn't make a difference. One iota with uh, Shahid Afridi. Just strike it clean. Now, this is the last game. Exactly what he tried. Got a leading edge because of the swing. Good shout there, but uh, obviously going down. Afridi wants to. He'll get it. He's such a dangerous player early on. And I see this last match. The ball just holding up and getting the leading edge. Now today, that's the last ball he played of Balaji. Today he comes out. The first ball he plays of Balaji is uh, just after that dismissal, really. And he puts it away for six. Similar shot. He has his own coaching manual. Okay, and he goes on the onside. Another boundary. This is what he does at the top of the order. This is why he's there at the top of the order. Destructive to say the least. Well, Balaji is certainly not making things happen. Three deliveries on the trot down the leg side one went for a leg by restricted to two but one six four and two so 12 runs of three balls not the kind of start you wanted and now because of that wayward line the captain is forced to remove one of the slips now just what can happen is a catch and go past second slip if he pitches it up he'll go over it off Very good catch, but it's behind the boundary. And he pitched it up, bang, over the side screen. 19 of the over already. The Pathan is on fire. Can't understand Balaji. Really, it's very, very obvious that you've got to bowl that slightly short of length line and length, I beg your pardon, the length. But at the moment, both not right for Balaji again through the offside wow what an over for Pakistan what entertainment already 23 of the over 32 for no loss full toss gets the treatment six third of the innings for Afridi Well, Afridi is on fire, on the leg stump, he was already targeting that area. This was an absolute gift. It's a new ball, remember, it can slip from the hand. He goes again, another one. What a welcome to the crease for Anil Kumble. Two balls, two sixes. Afridi has moved on to 33 and four sixes in this innings. What a strike again. It's gone a long way. This is an amazing hit. It's gone flat and it's gone long. But now they've redressed that problem or addressed it, I think. They have a deep mid wicket in place now. The long off has come into the center. So now the straight field is open. Kumla is going to come round the wicket. Green is being adjusted for a preview. So they're going to put, trying to cramp him and bowl him on the leg stump. Let's see if he's up to that. So you've taken your pick, huh, Arun? Straight field? Uh, that's, a, that's a big ask, especially with a I won't be surprised. He still goes on the onside just because he's kept three fielders on the boundary. 
He's, he's that type of a character. He's opened his stance. Yes. And he actually played one back. 33 of 12 goals. Now the Indians need some inspiration to come from somewhere. The field has to be chirpy. We need a wicket. We need to be wide. Lal saying he's looking to try and cramp the right hander here by bowling around the wicket. Two massive hits. First a full toss and this one a, a clean strike. He goes over mid off. Into the boundary. And that's a good cricketing shot. He didn't quite timing, time it but the intention was right. He was looking to hit in the right direction. Well, it's the straight field he did target, but he's thinking, he's thinking about it, even a miss hit like this will go for four, so he's only aiming at the vacant areas, that's good cricket. Goes again, over long goal, a huge hit for six. The 50 comes up for Pakistan. What an entertainer this man is. 23 from this over. High, long, wide and handsome. Now Balaji. In the air, beats square leg into the boundary. The thing for Balaji now is not getting any swing. So if he with his action, even if he bowls off and middle, Afridi is going to pick him on the onside, like he's done here. Straight right for four, it's a quick outfield, and it's Shahid Afridi's bat. Another quick 50 for Shahid Afridi. Fastest by any player against India, it's 50 of 20 balls for Shahid Afridi. Most of the crowd stunned by this uh, blazing uh, innings, 53 from just 20 balls. He's allowed his bat to do the talking. What a tremendous innings. That is uh, just about perfect start for Pakistan. 26th ODI, 55th versus India. The brightest and the best. Ramiz, I have to tell you this, he's got 199 sixes in his international career, one day career. 199 sixes. number 200 it's just staggering when you look at it six number 200 for Shahid Afridi the sixth of this inning is moved to 59 of 21 balls at a strike rate of 281 this has got to be a 12 it's a monster hit Shahid Afridi is not going to hail himself back because he's uh, out there to enjoy himself Had a ball, have a ball and that is exactly what he's doing safe enough and uh, long enough I can tell you it didn't come from the middle of the bat that's six number seven for Shahid Afridi well Sanjay I know one thing the middle of his bat is just about perfect this was predictable and I think he saw it coming Shahid Afridi was in that position to play it over mid wicket which he did in the end another smashing hit what a knock this has been got it through that should be four even Kef won't get there this outfield is lightning quick you can't do a great deal out there if you're the Indian captain because Shahid Afridi is making it almost impossible for the Indians really to stop him that's a lovely shot I think Zahir Khan was trying for that Yorker length he converted it into a full toss and then got it easily away through cover He's not finished yet. On 69 from just 29 balls. And it's 10 runs of the over. 10 gone. 93 for no wicket. Tipple to Shahid Afridi. There he goes. For 6, number 8. And it lands 
on to Shamiana. It's another big one from Shahid Afridi. Four more and he equals the world record for most sixes in an innings. And he's not finished it. I keep on uh, suggesting it. That is far away from being finished. The ball doesn't want to come down because it has got uh, beating of its lifetime. Now it was a pretty good delivery. I think he beat him in flight and he was not to the pitch of the ball but he's in such great form that uh, even then he connected it in the middle of the bat. Just long extension of the arms and going through with the shot. Another four. In fact, uh, not too many people are bothering to applaud the four. They're just looking for those sixes. Shy Dupree, they moved to 75 of 32 balls. 79 of 33 balls. He's an intelligent hitter. Now this one was hit intelligently. He went inside the line of that ball in length. There was no fielder there at deep backward square leg, so an easy hit in the end. He's on fire. He's feeling that fire. Being burnt by that fire. Another big one. He's gone high up and safely over the advertising hoarding for six number nine. This is unbelievable stuff. I've never seen anything like this. I've covered a lot of matches, I've played few, but this is something new and a first for me. Unbelievable hitting. It's non-stop action from Afridi. Every time he's ventured out of the crease, he's got a big one. Nine sixes and seven fours. And the quickest hundred by a batsman in one day cricket happens to be Shahid Afridi himself. 37 balls. He's got a chance of equaling that. 111 for no wicket. Straight to hand, but it's a no ball. And Yuvraj Singh was not aware. They've taken a good catch. It's short fine leg, but it's a no ball. So that move of uh, Dinesh Mongia working, but luck going Pakistan's way. Luck has been very cruel. It was a good catch by Yuvraj Singh and uh, Rahul Dravid where he had set the right fielder there. In the end, no result. Goes over the top again. Mohamed Kaif up to it. And could be one of those rare stops while the ball is running towards the boundary rope. Two more runs, three more runs to Pakistan. It's 115 for no wicket. It goes over the top again. One, two, couple of bounces into the advertising hoarding. Shahid Afridi just blazing away. Are we watching an ODI international or a festival match? I just can't make up my mind. He's been in such great form that everything is touched has turned into gold. In fact, diamond. What confidence, what grace, grandeur, poise, elegance. Fours and sixes. 92 for Shahid Afridi. Sanjay, when he got his fastest hundred, I was the next man in when he got out and believe me, it was a very, very hard egg to follow. Extremely lucky really to see that knock in Kenya. He was hitting flat sixes then. Is well on course to get the second quickest hundred in one day international. The quickest, of course, is Shahid Afridi himself at 37. At the moment, Brian Lara is the second fastest to get to 100 in one day cricket of 45 balls. Is well on course to put his name in the second quickest. Is well on course to put his name in the second quickest as well. But gone quickly, very quickly to the cover boundary, what can he do? 
everybody in fact have a sheepish smile on their face the smile of disbelief it's a smile of resignation and maybe a hint of enjoyment as well even if you're the opposition that is what he, what he has done to his uh, own mates it's unbelievable they've all played plenty of international cricket but believe me this must also be a first for them what hitting what placement He's on 96 of 39 balls. Now up freely on strike. He's on 98. And in the air, down the ground, 400 in one day internationals. The whole Pakistan dressing room get up. It's been an outstanding innings. The second fastest 100 in one day internationals. Well, you've got to stand up for this one. This is an important game. Two all tied for in the series. Shy of the field, 102 of 45 balls. He's just run away with the game. <laughs> he found him. The first time he's tried to defend, play a forward defensive stroke. And he's been bowled by Harbhajan Singh. Something to cheer for the uh, supporters here for the Indian team, but what an innings from uh, this man. Well, is there a lesson to be learned? You're right, this is the first time he's just got 100. Defend was well, unfortunate, played it onto his, the back of his front leg and just rolled on through the stumps. So, Shahid Afridi has gone for a magnificent 102. It's 131 for one. He's done his job.